What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Insurance Auto Auction for another IA walk around. Let's jump into this right now with number one on my list, a 2013 Cadillac ATS. And boy, does this one have some hail damage. This one, that's one for the books right there, guys. That is, uh, <laughs> wow. Wow. Holy crap, look at this. Okay. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's this thing is just destroyed, man. Well, I don't want to say it's destroyed, right? Because you can still use it. You can still use it. I'm sure it still runs and drives just fine. It's just, you know, it's it's pretty it's pretty messed up, guys. She's pretty messed up looking. Oh my goodness. Um, on the plus side, she's got some good looking tires. Uh, water in the headlights too. I, yeah, this this would not be one I would mess with, I don't think. Can I find the, where's the hood release? Looks like it should be right, right there. But she don't want to open. As is the case with so many of these vehicles out here. Okay. Maybe it's one of those you gotta pull it twice or something. Let's take a look at the interior real quick. Yeah, she's nice. Smaller car, but still pretty daggum nice. Oh, yes. Yeah, guys, this is clean. Dang. Dang. Wow. Where's the... Where is the hood release? Uh-oh. Okay, well. So we'll go ahead and fire it up. Right? We can fire it up. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Boy, that sure don't sound good. Yeah, misfiring. Traction light, TPMS light. Ooh, she's misfiring hard. Well, <laughs> I'll let it run for a minute. See if she uh, starts getting any better. Let's see if we can get that hood open. Does the important window work? Yeah. Who cares if it's misfiring, right? As long as the window works. That's what's important. Well, I tell you guys all the time, man, sometimes these cars sit here for a while. You know, and when they do, they just start running like crap. Ah, oh, there we go. And sometimes just letting them run for a minute or giving them a quick rev will shoot life right back into them. I don't know, man, that's pretty rough. She, she's idling pretty bad. I'm guessing that's at 3.6. Let's give her a little throttle, man. Let's see if she'll uh, let's see if she'll clean up any. Something tells me she probably ain't going to though. Man, she's running bad. Nah. She ain't cleaning up at all. Oh, in fact, it, it's worse now. Oh my goodness. Ah, I'm having no luck today. Yeah, she goes into gear and everything, guys, but... Come on, old girl, clean up. There it goes. Wait. Nope. Damn. I thought we had it. I thought we had it. It's running better. But it's still misfiring. Yeah. There may not be any hope for this one, guys. Wait. Hold on. She don't seem like she's misfiring anymore. 
Hold on. Okay, just settle down, car. There we go. There we go. I don't think it's misfiring anymore. Let's go take a look at the engine. I think she cleared up. See, I told you guys. You didn't you didn't have faith in her, did you? You didn't. Hell, I just made this car worth more money. Just by coming out here, I made this car worth more money. Look at her. She's purring like kitten now, smooth. Not misfiring at all. Well, that's my good deed for the day. That's what I'm going to say anyway. She is running great now. She is. She is running great. Because if somebody else had come out here to look at this, and they fired it up, guys, they would have been like, nah, uh-uh. It really sounded, it sounded rough. Check engine light was flashing. Nah, put it in gear. Now nah, she's good. She's good. All right, man. Shut her off. Fire it up one more time. There we go. Okay. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Okay, well, this one has a lot more hail damage than I would care to mess with, guys. This is not one for me. So we're gonna move on to the next. How about a 2013 Mercedes? What kind is it? I have no idea. I have no idea. I mean, I would guess a C-Class. Maybe an E-Class. C-Class, C300. All right. Yeah, I still have a hard time telling from time to time, guys. Good looking car, though. Interesting. What is it here for? It's an insurance car. So, let's see. Sorry, it's a 2015. Yeah, it doesn't say. It doesn't say if it runs or anything either. Oh, look at this. Hold on. Hail. It's hail. Dang, that is hard to see. I missed it. I sure did. I missed it. How did I miss that? Look at it. It just depends. Like, this is the angle I originally was coming at it from. And I just didn't see it. I really didn't see Like, from here where I'm standing, I missed it. Yeah, she's a hail car. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, the good news is it should run. Oh, it should run. Start engine. Well, I mean... Ugh, it smells awful in here. If you insist. God, it smells like some horrible air fresheners. Good night. Where are they? Because <laughs> I can smell them. There's one. That's not the one. I know what black ice smells like. I love black ice air freshener. This smells like... Someone just mixed a lot of air fresher together, and it's it's so nasty. Ooh, so nasty. All right, she runs. Battery's dead, obviously. It's asking to please let the vehicle sit and charge up. We can do that. We can do that. We can let this thing sit here and charge up for a little while, because I got to check some things, you know, like... Does the important window work? Why, yes, it does. I'd also like to know, what's the miles on this bad boy? Nope, I'm pushing the OK button, and it is not doing anything. No. It's like she don't want to, it's like she don't want to let me. Transmission not in park. Risk a vehicle running away. Yeah. All right, well, I guess for now there's not much we can do because it's, uh, it's, it's, it's all kinds of upset about the, the battery. So why don't we do this? Let it run, pop the hood, pop the trunk. We'll let her sit here and hopefully figure out her issues. Steering feels good, brakes feel good. Nice looking car, guys. Got some floor mats in here. 
a few little extra doodads under there. All right, let's take a peek under the hood here, see what she's working with. Oh, we got some, got some AMG wheels. Some drilled rotors. Man, you'd almost think this thing was fast or something. I don't think it is. I don't, sorry. I don't think this is a fast car. Ugh. Oh, listen to her uh, tick tock. The sound of modern cars. Used to, that'd be a bad sign, you know? Back in the day, that'd be a bad sign if your car was making noise like that. Today, it's supposed to do that. Looks like we got some mouse critters up in there. That's nice, they made themselves a nest. Looks like some spiders also made themselves a little home. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. That's real nice. That's what you want when you buy a car. You want pets. I didn't say pests. I said pet, P-E-T, pets. Yeah, those are pets, guys. Spiders and mice, everybody wants those at their house. She is a slick looking car. I really, I gotta admit, I like this one. I do, I like this one a lot. Don't like the hail damage, but aside from that, this is nice. This is really, really nice. I still wish I could see what the miles were. Apparently that's not possible because I can't, I can't scroll. I can't scroll through anything. These buttons are all for hands-free stuff. Um, cruise control. Nope. Adjusting the steering wheel, windshield wipers, turn signals, headlights. I can't, uh, I can't seem to get to it. Well, auto start. I hate that. What else we got here? All your climate control stuff. Navigation. Do we have nav? Let's take, let's take a look at the map there. It's not bad. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. I still wish I could see that mileage, but, uh, it's obviously, it's obvious she has no intention to let me see the miles on her. Unless I'm just missing it somewhere. If you guys see it, let me know. Let me know. I'm going to close the door one more time here. Let's try it again. Okay, it randomly turned the windshield wipers on for no reason. 102, 102. There we go. There we go. The miles are 102, 102. It's not bad. Let me pull up the auction. Let's see what this is going for. Well, she's at 2,000 bucks, guys. $2,000. And honestly, I think all it needs is a windshield. I mean, you're not fixing that hill damage. Sunroof looks good. So do the rest of the windows. Tires are decent, Continentals. Yeah, I'd roll this, I would. I think this thing looks sick. What do you guys think? Comment below, tell me what you think of the C300. Next, we got a 2008 Honda Accord Coupe. I'm gonna guess this is here for hail damage as well, although just standing here looking at it, I don't see it. I don't see it, and that bothers me. It's the dust, all this dust. It's such a thick layer, it makes it so hard to see. You gotta get at the right angles. And then you could clearly see it's definitely a hail car. It just makes it a little more work, man. A little more work. And if you get out here and you get in a hurry, you're going to miss stuff like this. You will. And then you end up just bidding on something. Or if you don't come out here at all, well, I mean, this one's kind of apparent that it's hail, though, right? You know, smashed out windows, tape all over the place, busted lights. Yeah, it, this is apparent that it's a hail car. Even though it's a hail car, though, it's still a Honda. And it's a two-door. It looks good. It's got decent tires. This is decent. Not bad at all. I kind of like the Accord Coupes. I really do. It's a bigger car, man. Gives you a little bit of room. Put a back window in it. I wonder if this one's got power. Ugh. Oh, glass everywhere, man. Wow. Yeah. Nope. No power. Now, let's get the, if I can get the daggum key in it. Come on. Oh, it does have power. Oh, she fired right up. The question is, though, is this a V6? 
Or is she a four banger? The sunroof is still good. And she fired right up, didn't she? Some miles on this girl. 120 something, I think, is what it says it is. Service B. Oil life, 5%. Yeah, okay, that's. What? I'm not trying. No. Be quiet. Oh, uh, yeah. Ben Shapiro, man. Love that kid. Well, I shouldn't call him a kid. He's a grown, grown man, but yeah, I like me some Ben Shapiro. I sure do. Not an ashtray. Okay. Well, I guess we're just not going to be able to see the miles. I don't know how to. Maybe it's this button. There we go. There we go. Right there. 124,869. Let's put her in gear. Close this door real quick. Yep, she goes backwards. Yep, she goes forwards. Important window work. Whew, that was that was difficult. But yes, it does work. Air conditioning. Let's turn that on. We'll let her start going there. I'm sure, oh, well, I could already feel it. Ace, wow, that was fast. That was incredible. All right. Let me try not to hit this car here. These are big doors. Yeah, I'm gonna say the AC works just fine. Try not to close this all the way, just in case she wants to lock herself on us. Oh yeah, I was hoping that's what we'd find under the hood. That's what you want right there. That's what you want. You want that V. You want that V6. That V6 with the V Tech baby. Yeah, she's a little powerhouse, man. She's a little beast. These cars get it. They're quiet. You hear that cooling fan running? Air conditioning is ice cold. The hood isn't trying to kill me. That's nice. I like it, guys. I do. I do. Hell damage on this one isn't so bad that I wouldn't... Oh, my God. We got to turn that off. Woo! Wow. Wow, that was cold. All right. Give her a little rev. If people wonder why I do that... It gives me an opportunity to listen for any funky noises, any uh, ticking or clunking or rattling or anything like that. I mean, it's not like I'm revving her up to 6,500 RPM or anything, but you know, around 3,000 RPM, you should be able to tell. In fact, I hear a, a tapping. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. Well, these cars have probably sat for a while, guys, so I'm not gonna hold that against her. I'm sure she'd turn out just fine. I bet you get this thing out, put her on the highway and just go. I bet she'd be fine, guys. By the time you get to the house, she'll quiet it down, she'll be back to normal. Moving on. Well, it looks like that was the end. I get so carried away sometimes, like I'm ready to just move on to the next. I'm standing in front of the next one right here. Man, a GMT 400, a nice old Chevy, guys. That's going to be in the next video, though. You don't get to see it in this one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's going to be in the next video. I'm going to get out of here. If you enjoyed today's content, hit that thumbs up button. Drop those comments down below. Stay safe out there, everyone. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.